Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the recipe for my cheesecake bars. So before I stopped selling in my business, if you didn't know, I just had my baby. So I'm taking time off my personal business. But I was going to add these to the menu. But like I said, unfortunately, I had to take a break. Um, time flies so fast and I wanted to take time to just be with my kids. So here I have some two blocks of cream cheese but in the description box you're gonna see it says three blocks and it also three eggs but it's for the reason like i said it was the first time that i was trying it in this specific size pan and so i added i realized it was going to be a little bit of um cheesecake mix so i added a little bit of everything a little bit more half a recipe more if that makes sense so don't my, um, don't get shocked or anything if you see different otherwise in the description box but you're gonna need cream cheese sugar um sour cream vanilla extract and here i have graham cracker crumbs and butter so uh with graham cracker crumbs i personally don't like using honey made just for the reason that it's a staple thing that typically people find at grocery stores so it is very very easy for anyone to try and do your recipe if that makes sense like your customers so more than anything customers keep coming back because you have that original taste to your um cheesecake so personally i always like using the brand nabisco i think that's how it's called um i'm gonna leave it in the description box unfortunately i can't find it now in my grocery store so i always have to order it on amazon that's where i typically find it so i'm gonna leave the link down below here i have a nine uh inch pan and just make sure that it's uh with the removable bottom just like this one it makes your life so much easier um than the other one and so you just want to add your graham crackers and or your crust base <laughs> and just make sure it's well compacted um before we get started onto our cheesecake mix so for the cheesecake base it's really really easy um i've been doing cheesecakes for about a year now and every single time i had a flash sale or a pop-up event i will completely sell out and i always got compliments because specifically my cheesecakes are not as dense which is what i love and i feel it's because i don't add a lot of egg nor do i add flour i prefer more of a creamy base than a super rich and dense cheesecake but that's just my personal preference and if you prefer that then this is the recipe for you all i do is literally pop everything into my mixing bowl and let it Beat until it's nice and fluffy um well i wouldn't say fluffy is the word but it does get more creamy and you definitely do see it volume in size and then that's when you know it's ready um the only thing that i wait till the very end and add is the egg that way we don't incorporate too much egg too much egg <laughs> uh too much air with the egg in it um i feel like my cheesecakes don't crack if i don't um let it be too long in the oven sorry totally got lost there um i feel like it's the oven that does that if you over bake it then it definitely cracks at the top which i always have toppings on mine so if it ever does happen i'm not bothered by it but that's what i noticed that my recipe didn't really change if it cracked or not because i would like test out other recipes too um different methods water bath and all that yeah Water bath does help a lot, but for the time it takes, it takes way longer in the oven for me. But that's what I say, practice at home, you know, try out different methods. You don't always have to do it exactly like me. Um, but I do give you guys the tips that I learned across me making my own mistakes. So hope you guys enjoy it and actually try this recipe out it's super super yummy uh specifically this flavor i mean it's one of the classics you can't really go wrong with it and you can add different toppings if you don't like strawberries try different um jam at, on the top um but once our egg we add our egg i just let everything incorporate i don't over mix it once the egg is in there like i said um and then i pop it into my grease uh pre-greased <laughs> pan and my oven is at 330 uh fahrenheit or you can put 325 i like to bake it 
you know, pretty low. I wouldn't say it's too low. Although I've seen people who bake at 275 as well for cheesecakes. I personally think this is the perfect uh, temperature for my cheesecakes. I wouldn't put it 350 because if you put it 350, you're just going to start browning the edges. The edges, by the time the middle, the center is fully, fully cooked, your edges are going to be really dark. And personally, I don't like that because it, I feel like it dries it out as well. So you just want to leave it in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. Like I said, this could, you know, range depending on your oven um, and its potential. Every oven is different. Keep that in mind. Uh, just keep an eye on it and until it's slightly jiggly in the middle, um, but it should be cooked. So here's my strawberry mixture that I personally love doing. I find this frozen strawberries in the frozen section. In Smart and Final, that's where I buy them. They're called sliced strawberries. I've shown the packaging in several of my videos, but I realized I didn't do it in this one, which is, you know, one of my first videos doing them in English. But um, I just go ahead and add glaze to that topping, and it literally it's the perfect mixture, um, perfect amount of sweetness, and I don't know, it's just such a delicious combination. Like I said, I love doing this instead of like buying pre-made like cheesecake topping just because anyone could literally achieve that and i mean unless you're a baker i feel or you're really into this then you really know how i got this type of topping either way you don't find it a lot so one of my favorites that i personally change now is the way i do my heavy whipping cream so i don't know if you guys seen but you know a lot of people um, they like to top their cheesecake literally with just um, Greek yogurt at the top. Um, so what I found is adding a little bit Greek yogurt or uh, to my whipped cream will really add just such a touch. But more than anything, I tried this out just because it actually um, gives it a better consistency. It's more... Um, stabilized if that makes sense without having to use uh, gelatin so that's a plus for me and the reason behind that is just because it has a high content of fat but you want to make sure you buy a high content of fat if you seen this one I bought this at Safeway it's a five percent um percentage of fat so it's the highest that I personally find here in my area or I don't know if there's higher uh once but that's why i decided to uh, try it out so you just want to go ahead and whip it from the beginning i add the yogurt into it but like i said it does give it a little tang so if you're making cakes or something else um you know i would try it first and see how you like the taste it's definitely not a lot it's not overpowering you'll barely notice it um my grandparents ended up coming as a surprise the next day and thank god i already had dessert done um and they didn't even notice it themselves. But I did add um, this. Well, it's not vanilla extract. It's literally a creamer for coffee. But I personally like using it just because it has no color. <coughs> Sorry. I have my baby in my lab. <laughs> he just finished eating. Um, it's one of the reasons why I haven't edited this video. Um, I did the first part like a week and a half ago. And then here I am re trying to record the last part. So you want to go ahead and whip it for about 7 minutes. And it should reach consistency. You definitely don't want to over mix. This is not the whipped cream or the frosting to over whip. As it literally turns into butter if you know how butter is made it's literally made with heavy cream so that's the reason why it turns pretty i don't know it just looks curdled uh so i did go ahead and add the sugar here keep in mind all the recipe like full measurements will be in the description box so just make sure to check it out and i will leave links to everything that i use down below as well you guys know i always like to help you guys out um so once you start noticing that the whisk, you start seeing the whisk into the whipped cream, I go ahead and stop it. And then I just finish whisking by hand. Like I said, this process literally changes in a few seconds. Um, it gets really, really stiff. And I definitely don't like over mixing because if you over mix, it starts getting runny. And then it gets like that curdled butter um, 
consistency like i said you don't want that um literally a few mixes you guys are gonna see it here um once you have a stiff uh stiff point you want to go ahead and stop over mixing and the only way you know that is literally to you know pull out a little bit with the whisk you'll notice see it's not there yet but it's getting there um and that's what i mean by it. the process goes really really quick So I always like to make my cheesecakes the night before. Um, so this is the next day and my cheesecake is now really nice and chilled. Um, but I would say maybe four to six hours. Um, best if you do make it that same day, you might want to do it in the very early morning and then just finish it off in the afternoon um, if you want to make it the same day. So like I said, having one of these uh, removable pans really help you. So you want to make sure you have one of those um before doing any of these recipes i will be showing you guys a lot of different combinations um i don't know if i'll put them fully in my menu i know i said menu in the beginning but I, what i meant is flash cells um because typically when i do start working i do get really booked with just dip treats for the reason being that surprisingly well here there are a lot but so they don't do like a lot of full details and i'm one of the only ones that does so i always get really really booked i am really blessed that it's not like i see in la that everyone has competition um but like i've always said always focus on yourself don't focus on what other people are doing and you know people are going to choose you for the style of your work you know every person has a different aesthetic or a way of working or a different flavor into their you know whatever cookies whatever it is and that's what makes you unique um so yeah so i go ahead and cut my cheesecake with this uh cutting tool i found this on amazon and i know they have a cheaper one because my friend went ahead and ordered that because she thought the 35 dollars that it cost was a little bit too much and when she ended up receiving it it wouldn't expand to the length she wants so this one you can literally expand it really really long the other one I don't know how many inches it expands, but definitely not a lot for what you need it for. Uh, so use the one in my description box if you are planning to purchase or just make sure it just expands because there's some that won't. Um, I found out because of my friend, literally. <laughs> so if it bothers you having that texture around your cheesecake, you just literally uh, wipe it down with the mini spatula that I'm using. Personally, it doesn't bother me. It's not going to change the difference um, taste-wise. So, yeah. And then I, that's when I add the toppings. I like to use the, uh, add the toppings afterwards just because I feel like I make a little bit less of a mess. But always with this strawberry shortcake, it always strips down, which personally I don't have a problem with because um, it's literally delicious. But that's it. It's super, super easy and simple to make them. Um, I hope you guys try it out. This is practically the end. I'm just literally going to start putting everything together. I know you guys will have questions about which piping uh, tip I'm using. And I am using... I'll leave it down below, but it's like 800 something. Um, but it's a really, really nice piping tip. I also think that makes a great difference using a large piping tip. And I know the 1M is one of like the big star ones, um, but personally, not even that will add the touch. So depending how you add your whipped cream is also depending, you know, your final look. So make sure it always looks kind of presentable. Like I said, once all these bars are together, it looks pleasing to the eye. I know it looks quite simple, but it gives an option for people who don't want such a huge slice or you know who don't want to purchase a whole cheesecake so having flash shows throughout your week really gives that option for people and that's when i would sell out especially like cupcake flavors i would do so many cupcake flavors and people would have the option to choose how many of which flavor and every single day sometimes i wouldn't even give notice most of the times i don't give notice i would just show when i'm working and you know by the afternoon i was done um 
and I would sell out. Thank God, you know. <laughs> I was very blessed uh, for that option. But this is what I'm telling you: when people, you know, try your things on flash sales, then they trust you for when they have a bigger event. So this why this is why I thought about doing these um, cheesecake bars. But if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I share a lot of what I do for my own personal business. Um, probably not the aesthetic recipe look video that you're looking for um just because i do talk a lot in my videos but like i said i talk from a business perspective um not necessarily just giving you the recipe and you know i share my pricings and all that kind of stuff so these bars do range for about four to five dollars and depending like there's other ones that i'm going to show you that they have like three different base like cookies brownies like all that um those even range up to six dollars so just stay tuned so you guys can see all those recipe but i wanted just to show you the basics and this is a little what's coming now with a whole different varieties and not only cheesecakes like i said i did mention brownies i know you guys have been asking so much for that recipe on my instagram i've never shared that brownie recipe but it was something that i recently purchased a course on that i learned how to make it so enough talking see you guys in my next video make sure to subscribe if you're new here Bye bye